as the Sri Lankan fielders trooped into the Feroza Shakotla ground with India skipper Virat Kohli and R. Ashvin after lunch, the sun had all but disappeared and several visiting team members were wearing masks. In Delhi, play stopped after Sri Lanka pace bowler Lahiro Gamage doubled up in discomfort after sending down a delivery. Lahiro Gamage's gingerly movements denote that he seems sick. He's down on his hunches, even as the physio is seen rushing out quickly and hence the protection perhaps. Strangely though, some players aren't covering their mouths and noses and are seen having the mask hanging on their necks. The play was halted pretty much for over 15 minutes as the on-field umpires Nigel Long and Wilson were in a discussion. Even match referee David Boon was on the phone discussing the situation with the on-field umpires. The Sri Lankan team stood in a huddle as the umpires had a brief chat with Virat Kohli and Dinesh Chandimal. The visiting players got into a huddle while Kohli, waiting impatiently after reaching a career best 240, lay on the ground and stretched, with his home crowd cheering and hoping for a restart. Finally, the umpires decided on continuing with the match as Lankan cricketers kept their masks on. Though Gamage resumed and dismissed Ushvin off the very first ball, he walked off the field after a while. The break in play also affected Kohli's concentration as he was out for 243, dashing hopes that the India skipper would go on to get his maiden test triple century. Lakmal walked off the field after bowling the fifth ball. The umpires once again got together, chatting with Shandimal and Sri Lanka manager Asan Kaguru Sinha also joined in. With almost all Lankan players wearing masks, play was again halted for around five minutes. India coach Ravi Shastri also walked to the field to have a word with the umpires, Nigel Leong and Neil Wilson, before play got underway. Deal Ruin Pereira finished the over and Sandakan bowled the next before Shandimal stopped play. Four Lankan players reportedly vomited, though it was not clear pollution was the cause. Another chat. This time Nigel Leong. Kohli might be fed up of all these stuff. Kohli declared the innings to salvage the situation. Then the Sri Lankan players' faces were filled with weird smiles. Dikwela and Sandakan were the most happy of all the players. Finally, Sri Lankans made it after too much of delay. The pollution level is in very poor category. This is normal during this time of the year, said MP George, in charge of the Air Quality Laboratory at the Delhi Pollution Control Committee. Levels of dust fluctuated according to weather conditions. But I am not sure whether it is advisable to play in the open wearing masks, he said. The PM10 level was around 3.8 times and PM2.5 3.7 times above what is considered safe. Patha said Lakmal was continuously vomiting in the changing room, where the team doctors and the match referee had gathered to assess the situation. I think it's the first time that everybody has come across that situation, he added. If 20,000 people in the stands did not have problem and the Indian team did not face any issue, I wonder why Sri Lankan team made a big fuss. I will need to talk to the secretary and ask him to write to the Sri Lanka cricket. News agency PTI quoted BCCI acting president CK Kunna as saying.